Hi everyone, my name is Miss Yonke. I'm one of the counselors at Gatella High School and I'm going to go over the course selection process for the freshman class of 2027. So a few things you should know before beginning this process is uh, you are going to need access to Aries to do this process um, and I recommend you use the full website on a Chromebook or a computer. Uh, you can complete this process on your phone. It might be a little more challenging, um, but I just recommend that you uh, are you using the full website and not the Aries app. So just make sure you're doing that when <clears throat> doing this process. And then you also are gonna need access to our online course selection guide, also known as our EPUB. Uh, so this course guide we've made available on the Catella Counseling website. We will also give you access to this um, when we come to your classrooms to present. Um, but this course guide is going to have so much helpful information to help you um, in this process. So we've got detailed descriptions on courses. Uh, we have an Aries uh, tutorial to help you in uh, selecting your classes on Aries, and uh, we also are going to have the presentations uploaded on there as well. <clears throat> and then another thing you're going to need is the ninth grade course selection sheet. Uh, so this course card, it should be pink for your grade level, um, but you are going to need this course card to follow along. Uh, so please make sure you get that out if you have it. Uh, this course selection uh, process is a two-step process. So one part of it is selecting your classes on the card that we handed out to you, but then you are going to use that card to select your classes on Aries. So make sure you get that out if you have it. And last thing is just be open and ask questions if you're not sure about something. Okay, some basics for freshman year. All of you are going to be in six classes next year, no less than six. Some of you may be in seven uh, due to taking zero period or taking an online class, but most of you will be in six classes, and we have the subjects listed there for you. You are going to be in a math class, English class, PE class, a science class, a health class, and then one class of your choosing, which is going to be your elective class. As I mentioned earlier, um, you are going to need to follow along looking at your course selection card. Um, so this is a sample of what it looks like. So please get that out if you don't have it. Um, make sure you don't, after filling this out, that you don't lose it. We will be coming back to your classrooms to pick this up. Uh, so please make sure you don't lose your card. And also, whatever class you do end up, whatever classes you do end up selecting in your card, we do expect you to review these with uh, your parent or guardian so uh, make sure you do that after you have made your selections something also good for you to know is um, you get one free class or an elective class in your schedule for next year and if you flip your course card over to the back side uh, you will see the long list of electives that we have to offer so please make sure you're taking a look at that um, we want you guys to have some freedom and choice in choosing this class in your schedule we don't want to choose this class for you because uh, we don't know what you're interested in right only you guys know that so uh, please make sure you're taking time to look at the list of options on the back and something else you should keep in mind is while most of you will only get one elective class in your schedule, uh, we're going to ask that you list up to three on your course card. Uh, we do want you to give us a few options. That way, if you don't get your first choice, um, we can hopefully give you uh, another one that you had in mind, another class that you were still interested in taking. Okay, <clears throat> so.
So it's going to be helpful for you guys to have some background knowledge of what the uh, graduation requirements are. Don't get too hung up on memorizing these as we go over these every year with you. Um, but it's good for you to know what's going to be required of you to successfully complete high school and get your diploma. So the first thing is going to be social science. <clears throat> You'll be required to take three years of a social science. Uh, this is also known as your history class. However, you won't be taking this in ninth grade. And then the next uh, category is going to be English. You will be in English all four years of high school. Math, you will only be required to take three years. However, four years is recommended, especially if you are uh, <clears throat> going to college um, and the the college entrance requirements and grad requirements those are a little bit different and I'll go over that in the next slide next we have science you're gonna be uh, technically required to complete 20 credits however you will be enrolled in science uh, for three years from 9th through 11th grade uh, and then next we have world language uh, and visual performing art. For graduation, you will only need to do one or the other. So only one year of either of these, but uh, for A through G requirements, which are the uh, four year college entrance requirements, um, you will need to do both of those. And I'll talk about that more on the next slide. And then you will also need a year of a career elective. Um, and you can see the options for career electives on the back of your course card. You will need two years of a PE class. You will be enrolled in PE 9th and 10th grade. Um, and then you will be taking a semester of health. Most of you will be in that <clears throat> your ninth grade year. And then we also do have a Ethnic Studies graduation requirement, um, and I'll go over the options on how you can uh, fulfill that requirement for this upcoming school year. And then <clears throat> we do have 40 hours of civic and service learning, or uh, also known as community service. Okay, so while we do have certain requirements for you to get your high school diploma, we also have requirements um, called the A through G requirements, which is uh, we, which are the standards you're going to need to meet if you want to be admitted to a four-year university right out of high school. Um, so A through G is something that um, we are going to encourage all of you to be striving towards and keeping in mind. While I don't expect all of you uh, as incoming ninth graders to know what you, you want to do after high school, um, we want you to be prepared and have options. Um, and so A through G is something you should be keeping in mind when picking your classes. So some of the A through G requirements do mirror the graduation requirements. Some of them do differ. Um, one main difference between A through G and graduation is a through G is often going to recommend and that you take an extra year in addition to what is required for that given subject. Um, they will recommend an extra year not only to increase your uh, chances of admission to that university, but also to ensure that you're prepared for uh, the, the rigor uh, in college. the it's, it's academically, it's challenging. It's a heavier workload in comparison to high school and um, these standards are designed to make sure you're prepared um, for that for that workload. So, for example, the science category, while two years is required for both graduation and A through G, uh, they're going to recommend that you take three years in order to to be prepared for college. Another key difference is the world language and VAPA requirement. Um, so for graduation, you're only going to need to take one or the other, but if you are trying to meet A through G, you are going to need to meet, um, two years or two levels of a world language class, as well as one year of a VAPA. So just keep that in mind for A through G. Um, yeah. And then you will also need to meet, um, two years for social science, four years for English, three years for math, and then one year of a college prep elective. 
Something else you guys should know is that our district offers something called the Pledge. The Pledge is a partnership that we have with local co community colleges and universities uh, to ensure that you guys are prepared for college. Uh, so this partnership includes uh, Fullerton College, Cypress College, as well as Cal State Fullerton and UCI. Like I mentioned earlier, um, an ethnic studies graduation requirement is being incorporated into our curriculum. And for incoming ninth graders who want to meet that requirement uh, this upcoming year, uh, you have the option to do that through a Spanish Speakers 2 course as well as a Photo 1 course. So here I'd just like to show you a sample ninth grade schedule. Uh, to see a sample schedule, you really just need to look at your course selection card because the course card has all the required subjects for ninth grade already listed on there. <clears throat> so you can see the listed um, subjects as well as the options you have uh, to take in that subject on your course card. So all ninth graders will be taking a English class, a math class, a science class, which will be Living Earth, a PE class, and then one semester of health, and most likely after that, a semester of a career elective class. And then um, you will get a, a year long elective in your schedule as well. Some of you may get to have two if you opt to take a zero period course or an online course, but most of you will have one in your schedule. <clears throat> Something else to keep in mind, these classes are a year long. So when you are signing up for these on your course card, we really want you to keep in mind that these classes are a year long commitment. Um, so make sure you are being careful and considerate when making your selections, because um, you're gonna be in these for a while. And we do expect you to be committed to these. You know, unless <clears throat> it's a unique situation or a uh, compelling circ circumstance warrants um, a schedule change, you will be required to stay in that class all year long. So make sure you are very careful when picking your classes. Like I said earlier, all freshmen will have six classes. Also make sure you are selecting honors or advanced placement courses as appropriate. We really don't have many options for advanced placement for freshmen, but we do have a few options to take honors courses. Um, <clears throat> and as you guys already know, honors courses are gonna be, you know, a little faster paced, a little more advanced and um, heavier workload in comparison to the to, to the standard version of that class. So make sure you are careful in selecting those. And also think about um, you know the other other programs we offer, career pathways we offer in selecting your uh, in selecting your courses. Uh, and also, you know, keep in mind the zero period and online options we have. And I will go more into depth as to what those are uh, later on in this presentation. Uh, we also have the course selection guide to help you guys out with this process. So <clears throat> if you guys go on to our counseling website and pull this up, <clears throat> you guys will uh, find lots of helpful information in this course guide. So you will see uh, videos describing the courses, you will see course descriptions, um, and you'll also find helpful links, uh, such as the links to sign up for AP or online, online classes. All right, now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. So if you guys have your course selection card on you, please pull that out. Um, if you haven't started filling that out already, go ahead and get started. And we are going to follow along um, what like what's on the card subject by subject. So the <clears throat> first subject that is listed on that card is going to be English. So uh, we have a few options for that. So the top one is gonna be your standard English class for ninth grade. That is called English one. 
We also have an honors English one for ninth graders. If you, um, you know, would like to take the more advanced version of that class, you're more than welcome to. Um, something good for you to know is we do, for ninth graders, we do offer um, honors uh, English one through e-learning. So that means this is going to be an online course. And I've included the course code there for you if you would like to take that class. Um, you can also take our English 1 through Film class. So I have that listed there on number 3. And then <clears throat> there is an English class for our uh, Puente students. If you are interested in the Puente program, go ahead and uh, select the regular English 1 at the top. And then if you are admitted into the program, we will add the, the Puente English class into your schedule. Okay, so now on to e-learning. So e-learning are 100% online courses that you will be taking online all year long. Uh, while any student is welcome to take an e-learning class that, that is available to their grade level, uh, I do like to kind of give disclaimers to these just because um, E-learning classes, they are not easier than taking the class in person and in, in, in many ways they're more challenging because uh, you are going to have to be really motivated and self-guided to take these classes. You're not going to get as much hands-on uh, support and guidance uh, that you would from your teacher if you were taking that class in person. So just keep that in mind if you do select an online class. It's, it's going to be more challenging and I, I wouldn't recommend an e-learning course for a given subject unless it is a subject that you are really interested in and you are you are skilled at and you are strong in that subject. Um, but if that is the case then maybe e-learning would be a good option for you. Also, another thing, uh, if you are taking an e-learning class, you must officially request an e-learning class by scanning the QR code for the e-learning form. So it's not enough to just select an e-learning class on your course card or select an e-learning class on your Aries account. You must fill out this form as well or else it is, you will not be able to take that class. Um, so just make sure if you do end up selecting an e-learning class on your course card, make sure you also go down to step three, circle the, the box for yes, that you're interested in, in an e-learning class, and that you also list what class and code that is um, in the box there. Uh, it, of course, if you're not interested in e-learning, then go ahead and circle no for that category. All right, now moving on to the next subject on your course card, which is math. Math is fairly simple. Uh, we only have two options there on the card for ninth grade. So you guys will either take the standard math for ninth grade, which is integrated math one, or, uh, you know, if you're on the honors track for math, you might select um, honors, math, math one to two honors. Uh, but we will also, for this subject, use your current math grades to... <coughs> guide us and determine your math placement for next year. Next, we have PE class. Uh, so all of you will need to take a physical education course for ninth grade, uh, but we do have some options for how you will do that. Uh, so we have regular PE, which is at the top, PE1. You can take PE1 through dance. You can take PE1 through marching band, but keep in mind that can only be taken zero period, which starts at 7.30. Um, so just keep that in mind if you are interested in marching band. And then you can also do PE through JROTC. J <clears throat> JROTC is um, a, another class that we offer to meet your, your PE requirement. So this is a very physically active class, sort of like a... Um, military prep slash leadership skills class. Um, it's a lot of um, group um, activities, team building exercises, things like that. Um, so if that's something that sounds cool to you, you might want to take PE through JROTC. 
Uh, next, we have life science. So the only science you're going to be taking in ninth grade is living earth. However, you have the option to either do the standard living earth or honors living earth. Uh, we also offer a standard living earth through e-learning. So if you think you can um, take that class online, you are uh, you have the option to do that. Okay, next we have health science slash uh, CFT. So all of you will have uh, at least one semester of health. Um, if you didn't take it uh, the summer before ninth grade, you will have a semester of health your ninth grade year. Um, the other semester uh, after you take health, that option is kind of up to you. So we have the standard CFT class or career finance and technology. Um, you, you learn a lot of different, you know, basic tech skills, life skills in that course. Um, you can also do a semester of health and then uh, a course in our digital media pathway. So that's an option for the other semester as well. Um, and you can also take your health class online. So if you want to do that through e-learning, you have the option for that as well. Okay, so just keep in mind that you do have um, a lot of options for your elective course. Again, most of you will only have one in your schedule. Um, however, you do have the option for two if you take e-learning or zero period. Um, <clears throat> make sure you are looking in the back of your course card to look at your options for electives. Um, you are going to list your first, second, and third choice on that course card. And you can also use the course selection guide as well to look at descriptions for those classes. So here I have listed for you in, in the event that you don't have your course card on you. These are all the electives available to you in ninth grade. And these are listed here by category. So <clears throat> maybe you maybe some of you are really interested in the arts and you want to get your VAPA done right away. Maybe some of you know you want to be meeting those A through G requirements. You know that you, you got to do two years of the same foreign language to get that done. And maybe you guys want to start your world language next year. Um, and maybe some of you want to um, uh, get your career elective done or even start a career pathway, which will entail multiple classes. Maybe uh, if you want to start a pathway in ninth grade, you can take a, a career elective next year for, for your, your ninth grade elective. Um, something I want to point out is we also have the option to take college level uh, electives through dual enrollment. Um, and you also have one advanced placement option through um, the course Human Geography. This is online only, but that option is available to you as well. Yeah, so a little bit more about this. So if you guys would like to take, you want the option to take an advanced uh, placement class, you can do that through Human Geography in ninth grade. You will need to scan the e-learning form if you want to take this class um, and just keep oh and also you will need to scan i should have included it on this slide but it is in the course selection guide as well you guys will need to scan the ap form as well so you guys will always need to request an ap class or an e-learning class through through the forms that we have. So <clears throat> if you guys are interested in this, please make sure you scan both those QR codes, which can also be found in the course guide. Um, just make sure uh, you are prepared for the, the, the rigor and the workload that is part of an advanced placement class because it is a college level course. So just keep that in mind when considering AP classes. Oh, there we go. So on this slide, we do have the uh, what we call the formal course request form, the FCR. So you will need to fill out an FCR for any AP classes. All right, and then something else I want to highlight is we are offering a new world language class at Catella High School this year. We are now offering American Sign Language in addition to 
um, French and Spanish. So if you would like to meet your world language requirement through American Sign Language, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, like I mentioned earlier, our school offers what we call career pathways. Um, and there's multiple classes to be taken to complete a career pathway. Here I have listed all of the classes you can take as a ninth grader that are part of our career pathways. So like for example, if you would like to complete the food services or culinary pathway, you can do that, um, but you must start out with Culinary Tech 1. There are follow-up classes to um, Culinary 1 if you would like to complete the food services pathway, but Culinary 1 is the only one that would be open to you as a ninth grader, so that is why that, that is the only class listed there. Um, if you would like to start the patient care pathway and you are already interested in the field of, of medicine and healthcare, you can start the patient care pathway by taking medical careers. Um, and then later we will make available to you the, the following courses in that pathway. Um, some other college level electives that you have the option to take through what we call dual enrollment. Um, would be our Counseling 151 class, uh, as well as our History of Rock class. So dual enrollment uh, is a program uh, where you are enrolled in high school courses and college courses at the same time, which is why it's called dual enrollment. Um, and this is a program that um, we provide through Fullerton Community College. And as a ninth grader, you have the option to take the two classes listed here on the slide. They are only a semester long. So if you are interested in one of these or both of these, they're only one semester each, um, but you have these options if you are interested. So if you are interested in either of these dual enrollment classes, you are going to indicate that on your course card. So go ahead and select yes, circle yes, or circle no if you are interested. If you did circle yes, you are going to um, circle which one you're interested in taking. Okay, and then for zero period options, we have a list of those options uh, in the EPUB, the course selection guide, which we have on our website. And it does tell you specifically uh, what options are available to you as a ninth grader. So not all of the classes listed in the zero period options are classes you can take in ninth grade, um, but some of them are. And if you would like, if you, if you would really like a zero period uh, course to either get an extra elective or to have an earlier school day, you guys have the option to do that. But just keep in mind that zero period, it does start at 7.30. A lot of our students do have a hard time getting up that early. So if you know you cannot um, make it to school on time at 7.30, then zero period might not be a good option for you. So again, if you are interested in zero period, make sure you're letting us know that on your course card. You're gonna circle yes or no if you are interested. And then if you are interested, please list the zero period class and class code in that box to the right. Okay, last thing I wanna mention with electives, uh, make sure you are giving us your backups. So that course card, I'll, um, I'll even go on to the next slide to show you. Yeah, that course card has an area for you to list three choices for electives next year. We need to have some backups in case you don't get your first choice. So please make sure you list three on the card and that you give us three options when selecting your classes in Aries as well. Okay, so now we are going to get started with the Aries portion of selecting your classes. So you should have all those boxes checked off on your course card. Use that to guide you in picking the classes on your Aries account. So let's get started. 
So after you guys log into your Aries student portal, make sure number one, that you go to the very top of the page see where i'm circling my arrow here you will need to change uh, your school setting to catella high school so make sure you switch it to to our school to begin this process and then next you are going to go to the sidebar here and you are going to click classes um, I know for some of you, you have a different layout on your Aries account. Some of you, you may have classes listed on the top here. So if that's the case, go ahead and cl click classes at the top. But I know for a lot of you, classes will be on the left-hand side here. After you click classes, you are then going to click course request entry. So make sure you click that button, whether you're clicking it on the side or at the top here. So click classes, then course request entry. All right, and then if you need a reminder of the subjects you'll be um, going over and when picking your classes, they are all listed up here. Um, so just use your course card as sort of like a checklist when going through this process. You know, after you're done inputting your English class, check that off. After you're done with math, check that off. Use that to guide you so you know when you're, you have completed this process. And I have a little picture of what your course card looks like on this screen as well. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do in order to uh, input the classes you selected on your card into your Aries account is you're then going to go to this area here. It's titled Subject Area and then you're going to use this drop down arrow to, to pick the subject area for, for the class you're picking. So for example, the first subject on your card is English, right? So in that subject area, you are going to pick English grade nine fall. And just keep in mind, anytime you are picking something on the, the subject uh, drop down menu, you are always going to pick fall classes, never spring classes. So just make sure you're always signing up for fall and you're signing up for the subject and the grade level that is appropriate to you. So start, start off with the first subject that's on your, your course card and pick English grade nine fall. And then you, if you look here on the screen, you can see that it, then it will show you the options that you have available to you. So you can choose English one through film, also known as uh, changing hearts. Uh, you can ch choose the standard English and then you can choose the honors English. So then when you know which one you have selected on your card, um, go ahead and also click that class here on Aries to select it. All right, yeah, go start with subject area and then click the course that is appropriate to you. So after you guys click the class that you want, so let's say, for example, you clicked this English one, the standard English for ninth grade. After you click that class, this box is going to pop up here and you are going to pick request primary. So make sure you're hitting that button for all of your core classes. So select that button and that class will be added to your Aries schedule. Oh yes, that's another important thing to point out. So for almost all of your classes, you will hit this request primary button. However, when entering uh, your backup electives, we asked you to put a second choice and third choice elective on your course selection card. When entering that second choice and third choice elective on your Aries account, you will use this request alternate button. But otherwise, for every other class you are inputting, your core, your main subjects, as well as your first choice elective, you will hit this request primary button. Okay, so you are just going to go ahead and repeat that process for all of the, the subjects and the classes listed on your card. So it's um, 
pretty should be pretty easy to do using the instructions on this presentation. However, if you need a more detailed, more step-by-step -step guide on how to do this, there is an Aries tutorial on, on one of the first few pages on our course selection guide. Um, so if you need that tutorial, make sure you uh, go to the course selection guide on our Catella Counseling website. Okay, so we are at the end of our presentation. So next steps for you guys is keep in mind that we are returning to your classrooms uh, February 17th in your math class to pick up these course cards. So please make sure you fill out these cards in a timely manner because we will be coming back shortly to pick these cards up. Make sure you don't lose this card. And also we expect you guys to review this card with your parent or guardian. You will need to have your card filled out and classes entered in Aries no later than February 17th. So please make sure you have that done by that date. Also, our parent night is coming up on February 15th at 6.30. Uh, so you guys, you and your parents are going to want to check that out. So make sure uh, that you're attending that parent night. Uh, we're going to have that in our theater. Uh, so if you want to learn more about the programs we have to offer here at Catella um, and you have questions about course selection, you're more than welcome to attend that parent night. Uh, and then also keep in mind, if you are signing up for any e-learning or AP course, you need to scan these QR codes and formally request these classes by filling out these forms. These forms are required, and if you do not fill these out, you will not get your AP or e-learning class that you requested. Other than that, that's it from me. It's been a pleasure to, to present to you guys on course selection. Um, I am so excited to meet you when you all get here. Um, and that's it for me. Have a wonderful day.